What's going on? What's going on? Brutus here, uh, bringing you uh, the last raids I did from the war, and I wanted to share um, uh, some advice or um, my own input about how I look at bases and execute attacks. Um, and I just mainly wanted to focus on bowlers, and then it's okay to change your plan if if. It kind of goes back to a video that we've um, seen from from Jake from when I've raids. You know that let the sometimes the answer needs to be no. Um, so with that said, let's just get right into it because I don't want this video to be too long. So this is my first raid of the war, uh, last war. Um, I uh, obviously want to do a uh, go go <laughs> a, a lava loon or lalo with bowlers basically and, and shattered. So instead of doing three hounds, I'm bringing bowlers in the CC. Um, I originally planned a, a tank all these to enter on this side, get this air defense, that queen, and that air defense. And as I, that was the original plan. Uh, given that I only had, and I wanted, I was going to wall break in uh, right about there, and then jump in this section to make sure I, you know, have access to the air defense. And I'm not trying to say this is a difficult base, so please don't get it twisted. And I am aware that's a level eight archer queen. But when I look at bases like this, I take that into into consideration. But I'm not trying to say that this is an overpowered attack. Um, okay. So the reason why uh, this was the original plan, and being that this this uh, mortar, if I put a golem there and a golem right about here, I will tank everything coming at this way, given all these uh, structures. Uh, and the queen's just outside of that wall, and so is the CC. And this um, cannon is not to going outside the wall. And yeah, I do have a I do have a little baby, so you're gonna hear in, in the background, and that's totally fine. <laughs> um, so with only the reason why I didn't do decided not to do this, or the adjustment that I made is. To Keeping in mind with bowlers, I'm going to put two wizards on this side, which will take down this uh, defense, uh, and then it'll they'll probably get stuck onto uh, this storage here. And then I'm put a cannon on this side, and you know maybe a minion over here, and get two more wizards on this side for the funnel, and keep one for cleanup. But I didn't. What I didn't like about this after I was set that this is how I was going to do it, and then basically Lalo coming down this way between these two defenses working counterclockwise, is this storage and this clan castle in this store um <coughs> excuse me and the town hall there is way too much hit points behind this air defense and that's the base design again i'm not trying to say this is the most difficult base in the world but when i looked at this literally within 10 minutes of looking at this before i'm about to hit it just didn't feel right i felt forced and so whenever you get that feeling and that's also how i look at it um, I felt good that I have these bowlers that will go inside, but I didn't feel confident that I would get the second much-needed air defense. And so you have to let the answer be no. And when I looked at another avenue, this is how I decided to do it. As I go ahead and push pl uh, push play, I'm going to put two golems to hit this south side here. But as soon as the other one goes down... Okay, so now with this approach, I have... Yeah, there's two storages to get through, um, but they're going to go down relatively quickly given the initial start, and there's there's literally nothing in the way for me to get to the two much-needed air defenses that I'm targeting. And given that the queen is really far away, as long as I put a jump axis to get to this compartment, I'll get the queen. And then I'm left with these two air defenses up top, and I can send my Lalo uh, counterclockwise going from, this, going from this direction as such. Um... What I, the other part that I wanted to focus on of why I adjusted the way that I did and, and decided to not wall breaker in is looking at as we push play here the funnel I talked about a funnel using b bowlers and a funnel within the funnel the first funnel for bowlers as I put down my queen because there's a lot of hit points in front of it and I got to make sure that I get in there I'll push pause here these structures right here this first layer of defenses they're gonna go down but I don't I wait on my jump to make sure that the wizards get a time to step up to take down those defenses and I knew they were safe uh, given the placement of what could target these wizards, uh, these things as well. So there's no doubt in my mind that I'm going to get a wide enough funnel to get my bowlers inward. And as soon as um, this storage goes down, my BK can go down, and my um, and they're going to go inward. Here's the funnel within the funnel that I was talking about in a previous video. So at this point, I, I poison down the CC. This mo this archer tower, I'm sorry, air defense right here is the funnel within the funnel. Kind of like similar to how you have drag loons. Bowlers will take care of this uh, d structure, and then there's n there's this big gaping dead space. Imagining you know what's going to happen as the raid goes on. It's going to be gone, and there's going to be nothing for nowhere for them to go or target but this direction. 
as we push play and do the rest. So as soon as that um, um, air defense goes down, everybody's going to funnel, uh, redirect inward to where they need to be. The queen is going to go down, and as soon as that second air defense goes down, I drag my first hound across where I know I'm going to have some satellite defenses left over, two per each, each defense. I did plan on it for being trapped, which is why I have more uh, second hound meeting it there, uh, and then rage to speed up the process to make sure they get behind that um, air defense. Um, and I keep one loon for the end. Haste to speed them across because there's a lot of point defenses here that I need them to hurry up and get across to take down as well. This, these last two loons over here on the left, really early, and I could have saved it. I should have waited until that uh, my hound made its way over, and I would have kept probably one loon. Um, if you notice in the middle here, a super, a super tight butthole moment, um, I lost my queen and didn't use my ability because I, I tripped the double giant bomb. Uh, coming in on the way over with that unbroken golem, so I was I was a little bit nervous. I kept my loon uh, for cleanup as they went down. I'm going to start it on the opposite end or far end of the trash ring, and we're going to fast forward from here because there's nothing but cleanup at the end. So those were those were how that's how I scouted the base, what my original plan was, and then why I didn't like it after I slept uh, after I took a second look at it, um, and how I adjusted. So I hope that was helpful for you. Let's go ahead and take one more up here at 31. Similar thing except it's not air, it's going to be ground. So in looking at this base, bowlers in the CC, so I'm going to talk about how I keep those in mind with my funnel. Um, is And again, a funnel within the funnel. Um, I was going to enter golems from right about here and here and then wall break and open this wall and jump into this section. What I didn't like about this is all this trash and I thought there could be a Tesla pop right here so I brought an extra giant to send to hit this wall and then put a wizard behind it to ensure I get that first layer of, uh, of the funnel. But with bowlers, this is what you have to take down. This first layer of trash usually is the easy thing to do. But with bowlers, because they're ranged, if a lot of people compare them to if this goes down and you're using Valks, I guarantee your Valks will hit the wall and go inward. But with bowlers, they can hit this second layer because they're range. If you don't account for this second layer with your funnel, your bowlers will walk. And that's what I didn't like about it. I didn't like the entry. It felt too forced. Um, with that entry in mind, I was going to send a golem, sorry, a giant to tank for the BK. So I didn't want him to, to one-shot my hogs unnecessarily. Um, this would be distracted by my kill squad, but I have all these defenses and the BK to worry about for my hog entry. So I'm going to send a giant right about here, which is going to grab the attention of these three defenses, but specifically the king. And I'm going to sneak in three hogs per defense, right, and a three finger drop. And as these structures go down, the next nearest structure, if you look at the pathing, path there's no springs. Uh, there might be one between here. But I'm going to have nine hogs converge inward that go to this next uh, section right here and then again a giant uh, surgical insult installment because this is the DGB that I have to worry about but as long as I have a surgical employment my hogs will trip one of the two G DGBs one at a time and that's what you want to look for so what my assessment was is I saw that there was all this dead dead space defensively down here so I wanted to use that to my advantage so how I adjusted is I just moved the kill squad up some so two golems shattered entry to hit this wall and I was very specific that I didn't want it to engage the archer queen I did want it to hit this peg which is why I deployed it in the way that I did and it's gonna be under point defense fire from three structures and that's gonna melt the golem golem so I try to make sure that it didn't get a fourth target with that cannon so I was a little bit late on this golem should have went down earlier but th this golem is going to take from that wizard tower so if I put two wizards as we're going to see here heavy on the top side for the high hit point storages those are the magnets or the threats to my bowlers once I get that um, high hit point storages down and I open up the wall and they redirect inward and I could bust the wall early because I knew that as they circle around this wall they're still going to be um, distracting defenses jump down early and here now the funnel is created so the bowlers are going to target the next closest thing to them so I put down the jump first so that they have access to these two things. There is no question that I got this entire trash ring on the bottom taken care of. Um, they're going to come into this structure right here and they're going to shoot over to get to this and there's the funnel within the funnel. This whole side being down, now my, now my bowlers will stay within this section which is where I want them.
Um, and that happens, poison down, rage down, it's the part that we get to see the core disappear. Now I know I'm good, um, there's my mini giant tank, there's my three finger deployment, they're going to step upward and inward, right here, this is what I think needs to happen to bowlers. Um, some kind of buff. It takes a, a double giant bomb set to bowlers like this and they're going to be erased. I think if the nerf needs to come down, it's single, basically a one giant bomb needs to be an impact uh, towards bowlers or something like that. Maybe buff on um, higher hit points, uh, DPS rather, to bowlers I think might be a good key. But So my bowlers are gone except one. <laughs> um, I see that there was a Tesla pop there. I got a uh, heal to meet. The, my first layer. There goes my other semi-surgical. Watch how the hogs come in and they're going to trip one of the D, uh, other DGBs at a time. Actually, it'd just be a giant bomb. There's the one. I do lose about five of them here, but I don't lose the herd. And then um, some to support my queen here on the far left side is where I send in my back end hogs. There was a troll Tesla. I'm going to fast forward because there's nothing but cleanup. But with troll Teslas, there's no way I could have planned for this. As long as you ep, if you the attention to detail and my last advice that I have for you as it gets down to that troll is you can overcome troll Teslas if you execute your main attacking force um, efficiently, that you have an abundance of troops to take over the, the troll Teslas in the corners at the end. Um, so that's, that's the advice I have. Um, in closing, you know, I, when I look at a plan at a base, I go through the attack in my head several times. And what helps me uh, decide if that's going to work or not for my leftover remaining army is I plan for expect the unexpected. You know, what could go wrong? And that's what helps me get my six packs in wars or my three stars in wars so I can be a valuable clan mate to the clan. So once again, it's Brutus reminding you, you got to be better than a double. And I'll check you next time.